Let's start with Contact, a device designed to quickly diagnose concussions in under 10 seconds. The process is really simple. The device shines light into the eye and measures things like pupil size and how fast the pupil reacts. These measurements are then compared to a standard baseline, making it easy to tell if there's a concussion. Contact outperforms the traditional method of following the doctor's moving finger with your eyes. This makes it an excellent tool for rapidly identifying injuries in athletes. Additionally, the manufacturer plans to create a special app that will analyze the device's data and provide recommendations for the next steps. Meet Wush, a scooter rental company, and Neri, a biotech company. What if these two companies teamed up? Well, they already did, and the result is the world's first mind-controlled scooter. Here's how it works. A special neurointerface reads data from the rider's brain electroencephalogram signals, and based on that information, it adjusts the scooter's speed. In simple terms, the more focused the rider is, the faster they can go. However, it's important to note that this scooter is currently just an experiment, so widespread availability isn't on the horizon. It's a bit of a shame, because some riders could definitely benefit from such a restriction. What do you think this cute little robot does? Well, it works as a security guard and is designed to patrol large areas. Thanks to its special wheel suspension system, the robot can move easily both in places like warehouses or forests. It moves at a speed of around 4.5 km per hour during patrols, and it can operate in rainy or snowy conditions. To detect trespassers, it uses a thermal imager and an infrared camera. Additionally, the robot comes equipped with speakers and a microphone for two-way communication, and it relies on artificial intelligence to generate reports on its activities. The world's first four-seat airplane powered by liquid hydrogen. Sounds interesting, right? But that's not all the accomplishments of its creators. They're also the first in the world to take a hydrogen airplane to an altitude of over 2,200 meters. Plus, they completed a 124-kilometer flight between two airports successfully. Their future plans involve a 40-seat passenger airplane that can travel up to 2,000 kilometers. The plane you see on the screen is the H2 Fly High 4, which can cover about 1,500 kilometers under ideal conditions. By the way, did you know that liquid hydrogen is nearly three times more energy efficient than jet fuel? That's why hydrogen aviation holds promise, despite the challenges it faces along the way. Talking about aviation, here's another game changer. On the screen, you're seeing the world's first patented remote-controlled aircraft tugs. What makes this an innovation is that now, towing aircraft is a simple task, even in adverse weather conditions and tight spaces. These tugs are a blend of compactness and power. Take, for instance, a model measuring 96.5 by 89 centimeters. It can effortlessly tow aircraft weighing up to 9.5 tons. They also offer versions designed for helicopters weighing up to three tons. They're so efficient that you can even handle the towing single-handedly with ease. If you lead a mostly inactive lifestyle, you should aim for up to 3,000 daily steps, roughly equivalent to 2 kilometers. It may not seem like much, but it can be a challenge to adapt to. To precisely monitor fatigue and prevent accidental injuries, Digit Soul offers these sneakers. They collect your walking data, analyze it, and present it in an app. Wondering how to reduce fatigue? 
maximize the benefits of walking or walk more efficiently, these sneakers have the answers. Plus, they save you the hassle of dealing with shoelaces and keep your feet warm, thanks to built-in heating to a maximum temperature of 45 degrees Celsius. The price for a pair of these sneakers starts at $200. How much trash is there in the world's oceans? Let's consider plastic waste for a moment. By the year 2050, the amount of plastic waste in the oceans could surpass the combined weight of all the fish in them. So, we must take action to clean up the water as soon as possible. One way to remove at least some of the garbage from the surface of the water bodies is through this system. It can be installed at marinas, waterfronts, and similar locations. This system can process 32,000 liters of water per hour, effectively removing solid and liquid waste. It's also good at capturing tiny microplastic particles as small as 3 millimeters, and it can hold up to 100 kilograms of debris. The UN predicts that by 2030, around 670 million people will still lack access to electricity. Therefore, innovations that enable electricity delivery in remote areas are highly important. A notable example is this container. With the efforts of just one person, it can be transformed into a fully functional solar power plant in under half an hour. The frame of this power station can accommodate up to 180 solar panels, resulting in a peak power output of 75 kilowatts. Since it's built on a standard 6-meter container, transportation hassles are minimized. The manufacturers offer several different models, and they take pride in having delivered them to 36 countries. This laser scanner is quite impressive. It was even used to scan the Oracle Red Bull Racing Team's car. What makes this scanner stand out is its modular design. This feature allowed Red Bull engineers to adjust the scanning scale quickly without compromising data quality and consistency. The clever part is that the same scanner unit is compatible with both a portable manipulator and a large laser tracking system. Even when scanning from a distance of about 30 meters, the scanning error is no more than 50 microns. Plus, thanks to the Shine system, the scanner remains effective on various materials and finishes. Advanced scanning technology is now accessible to everyday consumers. Take, for instance, this pen that enables you to identify and replicate colors. On the end of the pen, you'll find a scanner. Place it on a surface, and it provides the exact color in the RGB color model. On the other end, you can immediately try out the color that you've scanned. It works on touchscreens and paper alike. The pen includes replaceable cartridges and a stylus cap, along with six drawing tips, ranging from markers to ballpoints. For digital art enthusiasts, it offers quick color transfers to Coral Draw and Photoshop. A single charge will last approximately 15 hours, and the pen, along with the cartridges, costs $160. One of the world's major consumer electronics exhibitions is Berlin's IFA. In September, Lenovo made quite an impression there. The Chinese tech giant surprised event attendees with this monitor called the ThinkVision 27 3D. This monitor displays a separate image for each eye, allowing you to experience 3D visuals without the need for glasses or headgear. However, the monitor's performance significantly depends on the user's position. For instance, the ideal distance from the screen is 60 to 100 centimeters, and the viewing angle is limited to 40 degrees. This monitor will be available for purchase in January, with a known price of $3,000. 
spider robots have found widespread use today. In Japan, they assist in sewer inspections, while in the United States, tiny robotic spiders measuring just a centimeter are designed for microsurgery. It's no surprise that even students are delving into spider robot development. A graduation project by students at Linköping University in Sweden showcases their take on a robotic spider. Being one of Sweden's oldest universities, the quality of their robot spider is noteworthy. It autonomously navigates a simple maze, tackles obstacles, and can be manually controlled with streaming video transmission when needed. Interestingly, almost anyone can build something similar. All you need to do is buy this kit for $730. The assembled robot boasts both a manipulator and artificial intelligence, making it suitable for both recreational use and serious projects, such as testing algorithms for sorting and cargo handling. Meanwhile, some skilled individuals even build entirely customized robots. For example, according to the idea of the creator, it'll be possible to ride this robot. What do microwaves, penicillin, and matches have in common? They were all discovered by accident. And you can add Protector B to that list of accidental discoveries. Initially, it was designed for a single purpose, B vectorization. Here's how it works. Dispensers containing fungus beneficial to plants are placed on beehives. As bees pass through these dispensers, they pick up the fungus and spread it, leading to increased crop yields and reduced plant diseases. However, Protector Bee turned out to be even more versatile than its creators initially imagined. When they gathered feedback, they discovered some interesting things. Firstly, the system makes it easier for bees to defend the hive. Secondly, it deters honey enthusiasts like skunks. Thirdly, Protector Bee can regulate bee traffic. And fourthly, it simplifies beekeeping by allowing beekeepers to care for bee health. This is because Protector Bee can also be coated with substances to protect against diseases like European fowl brood. According to statistics, the global flood-affected population has increased by 24% over the past 20 years. When you compare older and newer satellite images, you can observe the expansion of flood-prone areas in regions like the Middle East and Africa. Consequently, many countries' residents and authorities are taking proactive steps to prepare for natural disasters, including the purchase of various types of barriers. Numerous companies produce these barriers, making it challenging to stand out in the market. However, Garrison Systems has managed to do just that. Their barriers proved their reliability even during Hurricane Katrina and earned the trust of the US military. One notable advantage of Garrison Systems barriers is their ability to be inflated in less than five minutes. Moreover, they're simple to connect and with lengths of 4.5 or 9 meters, they can rapidly protect entire neighborhoods. Picture this scenario. You're out in the desert, driving your SUV, and you find yourself stuck. There are no trees or rocks in sight, and no friendly folks in other cars to assist. How can you free your vehicle from the sand? Well, it's quite easy if you have this anchor in your trunk. It's built to pull a hefty 5.5 tons, and you can easily set it up even when you're alone. Plus, it's not just handy in the desert. As demonstrated by testers in this video, it's also useful in the forest. 